Sophie Rayworth has the national news in half an hour, but first on BBC One, your local team with the news where you are. Good evening and welcome to South East Today. Our top story tonight. Tackling county lines crime, the stark warning from former gang members as the cost of living crisis is used to recruit children. Young people are losing their lives. Um, and you can't get more serious than that, it's, it's fatal. University of Brighton lecturers say they're struggling to pay the bills after bosses stopped pay over a marking boycott. It is really worrying, um, but more than that it makes me really angry because actually I deserve to be paid because I was still working. Farmers ask for more support at the Kent County Show over rising costs and labour shortages. We're live at the showground in Detling. Hit me with your rhythm stick. Hit me, hit me. And nearly 50 years of the Blockheads, the new wave group continues to tour and attract new fans. Hello, former gang members in the South East have told this programme that criminals are exploiting the cost of living crisis to recruit more vulnerable young people into dealing drugs. They say without extra funding for charities, the problem will get worse. The warning from the group Refocus, based in Dartford, comes as figures show one in five people involved in so-called county lines crime, where drugs are moved between cities and smaller towns, are children, with their average age 15 years old. Police estimate some 4,000 under-18s are currently involved in or being exploited through county lines crime. Our reporter Chrissy Weedy has been speaking to one young person who turned his back on county lines crime. Tywin was just 15.